Hello, everyone, and welcome to my young and the restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Insanely young and restless recap. Diane on Wednesday, April 12th, summer excludes Sally from Memorial in connection with the poison purchase. According to the young and the restless, why and are spoilers recap for Wednesday, April 12th. Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, and Diane Jenkins, Susan Walters, will appear apprehensive over Summer Newman. Allison Abbott's Lanier, decision to hold a memorial ceremony at the jazz bar. Michael Mueller's character Kyle Abbott will acknowledge that he thinks it was a bad mistake and that Summer is attempting to prove something by getting everyone together at the location where they last saw Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford. In Wednesday's I and R episode, Diane will question whether she should attend the service, but Kyle will urge that Summer wants her there. When Summer sees some police tape in the garbage at the jazz club, she will seem concerned but then turn to Phyllis' photo and make a commitment to put things right. Before the memorial, Lely Winters, Crystal Khalil, will make arrangements to halt development on the gaming platform when she discovers Daniel Romilotti Jr., Michael Grazietti, in his suite. Daniel will oppose because he needs to divert his attention from his sadness, but Lily will give in as long as he doesn't have to work today. When Jeremy Stark, James Hyde, hears from someone on the phone with updates, he'll lose it over Phyllis missing her flight last night. Meanwhile, Phyllis will bring her disguise, which includes a wig, back to her hotel room in a suitcase. Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, and Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope, will be attending the celebration of life service at Crimson Lights, where Sally will run into Summer and express her sympathies. After learning that Sally intends to attend the memorial, Summer will claim that Phyllis wouldn't want her there and go on a tirade about how Sally clung to Nick while carrying Adam Newman's Mark Grossman child. Sally will choose to skip this one in order to make things simpler for Summer because she will be pushed by her to remain away from the service. Sally will be sitting by herself at a table when Adam comes after pushing Nick to leave alone. As long as they don't talk about anything too serious, Sally will invite Adam to join her and they'll chat about prepping for the baby. Adam will claim that he'd love to go once Sally asks him to accompany her to the doctor's office so she may find out the baby's gender. Sally will acknowledge that Nick will also be present but Adam will still be ecstatic about this significant accomplishment. Sally will place Adam's hand on her uterus once she feels the baby move so he can feel it too. That'll give Adam and Sally a lovely opportunity to connect. Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd, as Summer desired, will appear at the jazz club. Chance will presume that Summer intended for this setting to have as much of an impression on Diane as possible. Summer will assert that Diane won't be able to conceal her remorse once she realizes how deeply the death of Phyllis affects everyone. Daniel will then be shocked by Danny Romilotti, Michael Damien. By learning that Lucy Romilotti, Lily Brooks O'Brien, has come back for the memorial, and Daniel will be happy to embrace his daughter. Lily will soothe Danny when he asks Lily to watch out for Daniel later on for Lucy's benefit. When Jeremy has looked through Phyllis' hotel room and has found no trace of her, he will go to the funeral. When Jack confronts Stark, he will be curious as to how much money it would take to convince him to abandon his evil scheme to implicate Diane. Nonetheless, Jeremy will maintain that Diane is responsible and portray himself as unsatisfied until she is behind bars. Chance will make Jeremy agree to accompany him by threatening to find evidence of a parole violation and arrest him if he doesn't. Phyllis won't mess things up for Jeremy. Jeremy will realize once he starts looking for her in her hotel room again. Phyllis will appear at the celebration of life after Summer has started it while dressed as an employee and donning glasses and a wig. That will allow Phyllis to hear what Summer and the other mourners at the service have to say. Summer will express her regret for their argument and acknowledge that she would do everything to have Phyllis back. Summer would argue that if she were present, she would tell Phyllis that she loves her and believes her after expressing sorrow for having doubted her mother. Daniel will attempt to speak, 
but he won't be able to because of his emotional state. Instead, Nick will talk about his relationship with Phyllis, and Jack will then relate how she stood strong as Summer was born in the lift. Jack will raise a glass to red and take in her photo after acknowledging that Phyllis' loss has altered him irrevocably. Michael Baldwin, Christian Leblins, and Lauren Baldwin, Tracy E. Bregman, will also rise to speak about how Phyllis was there for them at all times. As Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, has her turn, she will talk about how she and Phyllis shared a love of summer. Diane will give Nikki a foul look when she mentions the unique project that she and Phyllis worked on together. Lucy will mention how Phyllis traveled all the way to Portugal to assist her in making apologies with her father. Lucy will assert that Phyllis taught her not to be too proud to apologize since love is more important as she sits next to Daniel. Chance will receive a text message from Maggie at the GCPD after he monitors Diane as Summer requested. Chance will text back that he needs a name when Maggie reveals that they are aware of who purchased the bottle of strychnine. Chance will sit down and seem very contemplative when Maggie responds with the name Diane Jenkins. According to teasers on The Young and the Restless, this Diane setup will have more surprises, so pay attention. Thanks for watching my video.